Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Fizzle Plays. Today, I'm going to be checking out a game called Fingerbones. It's a psychological horror game, as you can see up here in the corner, blah, 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 blah. Alright. So, sh it should be basically a short little indie horror game. It's actually on Steam for free, so I will definitely put that in the description below, like I always do. Uh, if you want to go and check it out for yourselves. There's a knives on the table. That's a very pixelated piece of paper. Drawing of some sort, perhaps? There's books, and yay, stuff. Can I do anything but walk? I don't think I can. I probably should have read that screen more intently, but I decided to dive right in and see if I could figure it out myself. Oh god, I hope I can figure it out myself. Otherwise, I'll look like a complete idiot. But hey, what else is new? I can't get in that door. I'm assuming I need to find a key. Perhaps. It is so very, very dark. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? What did I just do? Um. Just gotta... Pretend like I meant to do that. <laughs> I totally meant to do that, guys. <laughs> that did not make me... Wait, let me check. Yeah, no, okay, I'm good. Hey, I found a flashlight! That looked like a stapler. For some reason. Hey, what, what are you? I can type stuff. Hello. Oh, that's weird doesn't lock the camera in place. I am the scat man. Alright, I don't know what that is for. But I I don't know. I can interact with more stuff than I previously thought I could. Here we go! I can actually read this note. It's my weekend to get Katie, but I'm not really in the mood. I distracted her with the TV and came here to read. I couldn't interest myself in reading, so I tried to write. I couldn't write anything more than the usual handful of disconnected thoughts and theories. Medication didn't help, and divorce certainly didn't help. Because I am not depressed. I am enlightened. This is the result of two decades of scientific education and philosophical co pondering. This is the price of knowledge. Good for you, dude. Glad you became enlightened, even though you sound more crazy than anything else when you talk like that. Uh, books. I cannot interact with the books. I did something to turn this on. I guess this is the generator, I'm assuming. Uh, hey, spider webs. Now, if I click on that door, I exit the game. And I don't want to do that. Because I'm not done playing it yet. I cannot shift. I cannot do anything but walk and look and click and point. When I was 15 years old, I lost my virginity. I shook uncontrollably the entire time. I felt that same primal excitement yesterday night in the cellar. Oh. So I should uh, be on the lookout for the cellar, because I don't know if I want to be trapped down there with whoever that wrote that note. Sounds kind of threatening. It appears to be a page from a manuscript. Pop morality is too reliant on emotions, and not reliant enough on rational thought. If morality must be determined, and I maintain that it is a farce, it should not be determined by feeling. Feelings are nebulous, subjective, and changeable. Rather, it should be determined by thinking. The actions of a natural creature are natural, and thus moral, unless a concrete scientific reason can be given to prove them as immoral. Um...
I mean, you... I don't know why I'd use my daughter's name as a door lock code in my survival bunker, but whatever keeps her happy, I suppose. She's like her mother. A delicate, fragile version of her mother. Damn her. Oh, boy. Okay, um... So I need to find out the daughter's name. I'm assuming that's gonna be the code. But I don't know if I'm gonna like what I find when I open the secret door to the cellar. Where can I find her name? Did I already find her name and I just don't remember it? Nope, that's just that. Katie! Katie is her name! I, how did I forget that? Whatever. Hey, Katie. I did it! What did I do? I did something. Oh! Oh! The door! Yes. This is like something that looks like it should be a puzzle. But I don't think I can interact with it. Is it just supposed to be like a sealed off window? If so, why are there non-sealed off windows over there? That don't look anything like it. I, I feel like that's gonna come into play. I wish I could move a little bit faster. That is really loud. Yay! Not yay. I don't like this. I just fell down the stairs, slightly. Oh no. Katie? Are you down here? Or your ghost? Maybe? Please don't kill me. It's finally happened. The whole world is a chaos of thunder and screams. And when the ashes settle, we will all be wild animals again. I am ecstatic beyond words. I haven't been able to reach Lynn for several days, and she's probably dead for all I know or care. But Katie was here when it started, and I have no idea what to do with her. Shut up! Please. Most of the town is dead. Katie and I only survived because we ran to the bunker. Perhaps this is what I've needed. Freedom from all the irrational rules and inane social values. Just pure, beautiful survival. You fucked in the head, dude. Do not use the apocalypse as a scapegoat for your own shitty fucking doings. It's like when people blame the devil. No, that shit's on you, bro. I boxed up everything that isn't practical and useful. I burned all the books that weren't for scientific edu edification. I'd like to store the boxes in the cellar, but I can't get them down the ladder by myself. I just piled them up near the hatch. The blood would probably ruin them anyway. What blood? Whose blood? I'm gonna assume you killed a deer for survival and all, and you skinned that. And it's just draining. Hi, Katie. Katie? I didn't do anything. I'm innocent. Can you please not take revenge on somebody that was not here for any of the events that transpired like ghosts are wont to do? Um. What do I have to do now? I don't know. This is actually getting to me a little bit. What are you? What are you? I don't know anything. What is going on? Hello? Can you let me in? Hey, another note! Look, look at the note, please. The tool room has been her name for years now, and I can't bring myself to change it. Katie? Or, uh, your wife, maybe? What was your wife's name? Fuck. I don't remember. Oh, I need to go back there. Okay, so, uh, Lynn, Lynn, I got, I got to put in the name Lynn into the little computer thingy up here, and then I think I can continue on my way. Shut up, generator. As much as I like having power and light, so I don't have to wander around in the darkness anymore. 
and it's a nice thing. So keep doing that, but just do it a little bit quieter, please. There we go. Maybe. I think that worked. I'm going to die. This is going to end badly for me. Why am I continuing to press on when I know that I'm not going to like anything that I find? I already don't. I mean, it's, it's beautifully done with the atmosphere in that way. Which is, which is definitely a point for the game, but, um, doesn't mean I have to like it when I have to go through it. I would probably be enjoying this more if I pawned this on somebody else to play while I laughed as they got scared instead. It's completely different when you're the one that's actually in control. She remembered Father's Day and drew me a picture. I don't understand her. She's just like her mother. She wants to waste time drawing pictures, and we're barely able to find enough food to survive. I turned her crayons into candles. We need more candles in case the generator goes out again. And it helps break up the monotony. She's right behind me, isn't she? I yearn for the excitement of those first weeks. Ah, oh, boy. No? Okay, good. Thank you for not doing that to me, game. There are things I've wanted to do for years. Desires I've kept locked in the back of my consciousness. It's been nearly a year since I've seen a woman, and now I realize there's no practical reason to keep those desires locked up anymore. Don't you fucking do it. Don't you do it. Don't. No. I mean, I'm pretty sure that you've already done it. And it's a long time in the past. Who am I even? Why am I here? Why can I not just leave? I mean, I can leave if I really wanted to, but then I wouldn't know the story of the game that they're trying to tell. That's just that no. I changed the storage room code to something I can easily remember. N N Y. The rest of the word is missing. Okay, okay, um, and, and why, uh, there's no words that start with two N's like that. What, what are you, what are you doing? That's not how you do words. It's not how you do words. N, N, Y. Uh, it's gotta be contextually in another one of the notes. Probably, I would assume. No, not that one. Not that one. Not that one either. And and why? Oh God! This could take a while. And and why? What the hell could that be the beginning of? Nope, it's not it. Uh. What am I supposed to do? I'm assuming the note is probably down there, and I'm just being an idiot and I can't find it. But I don't know, guys. I don't. I don't. I don't know. No. I will say that one note about the crayons for candles is making me kind of concerned that the generator is going to run out on me, and then I'm going to be thrust into the darkness, relying on candles I don't have. So I'm now looking forward to that. I can tell you that much. The fuck was that? Nothing. Okay, cool. I really don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to be looking for, you guys. At all, like in the slightest. I don't have enough information to go on. No. Right. Okay. I, I see. I, I mean, I don't see. I, I see, but I don't see. Apparently, 
because yeah I got a little fed up after uh, trying aimlessly for a while to find another note which apparently I'd, I don't think I missed any notes but uh, NNY so somehow you're supposed to put it together that NNY obviously what are you gonna put next it's gonna be an L because it's Lynn backwards how Okay. Cool. Yeah, it works. It works. It fucking works. I no fuck. Okay. I can understand leaps of logic sometimes in puzzles. Game. I I can understand that. Unless I am missing an extremely well hidden note that somehow gives you the hint that you're that's what you're supposed to be doing. That seems a little far fetched to me. And I'm back into the creepiness. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna just st shut up and stop talking. Well, I'm gonna keep talking, but while I'm reading instead of my own words. I am a bag of DNA, and I exist to make more of myself. I married and produced a daughter because my genes demand reproduction. I wrote books and created because creativity served a survival advantage to my ancient ape ancestors. I built this place, took refuge in it, and spent hours thinking up silly little artificial laws to live by because my forefathers built cities and societies to allow time and peace to reproduce and protect their genes. Dreams, love, Opinions, desires, beauties, innocence. Figments of our collective primordial imagination. Fleeting electrical signals that fire across our synapses for a pointless moment in time. They used to serve a purpose, and now they are needless confusion. And here I am, the last man on earth for all I know, ready to be freed from them. Well, you broke down really quickly. Uh, what does this do? Is that the cellar? Did I just unlock the cellar? I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Please, no. Just take me home, Joe. I don't want to fucking... That, no, okay, never mind. I am kind of happy that I failed to unlock that. Honestly. But now that means I have to figure out what that actually did. Um. Huh. So I'm not happy about that, but uh, I'm kind of glad I don't have to immediately go down there. Okay. Uh, what, what, what do now? What do now? What do you want from me, game? Oh my god, could you move a little faster, please? Sir. <laughs> Just float up the stairs slow. Oh my god, yeah, that's, that's it. That's probably what it did. I knew it was going to come in handy. I knew this was going to be a thing. What are you? I don't like this anymore. The cellar is freedom. No, actually, I think that's... you've got your words mixed up. I think you need to maybe consult a thesaurus, shut up, and you will find that the cellar actually equates to... The, I think the word that you're looking for here is a prison. Not freedom. It's... I mean, it's, it's freedom because it ends the game and it's symbolic. But it's it's the opposite. This this stands for the opposite of freedom. Thank you for telling me that the cellar is freedom. What am I supposed to do with that knowledge, though? If it's still locked, then obviously it's not freedom. I hear this other noise in the background perpetually now, and it's kind of unsettling me. I mean, even more so than I already was. Okay, it's gone now. I, I get that the cellar is supposedly freedom. 
Why? Oh, finger bones, man. I get the fucking name of the game now! Fucking finger bones, bro! I can't believe that took me t looking at that twice t before I realized. Very clever. What do I do now? Finger bones. Oh! Duh! I'm a big fat dummy. Freedom. Hey! Figured it out! All by myself, I'm proud. I didn't have to resort to cheating like for the fucking backwards Lynn. Urgh. I, I, I'm not gonna harp too much on that. But. Let's figure out what, 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 what in the butt. Oh, please. No, please. There's only enough food for one, so she's gonna die anyway, and I'm free now. Freedom! Took the end all humanity for me to find freedom. That's... No. No. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Stop, please. Oh, goodness. It seems to have been torn from a diary. Okay. She finally died last night. I don't know whether from starvation, dehydration, or blood loss. I threw her body into the woods. Her fingers. My anti-religious artifacts. My testaments to moral and intellectual freedom are locked in the safe upstairs. I am content in the knowledge that I haven't done anything wrong. You are wrong about that, sir! You... okay. Oh shit, I was the father the whole time?! What a twist! The father didn't know why he'd come back after all these years. Starving and tired. He just wanted to see the cellar one last time. No! With one less flick of the flesh I died and FUCK! I TOOK TOO LONG! GOD DAMN IT! Fuck my life! Well! That was finger bones, guys! I'm gonna go scrub my brain with bleach now. Um, on a more serious note, very well done atmosphere-wise. It, it definitely had me on edge the whole time through. Also, kudos for no jump scares. You relied on the atmosphere of the game, and that's what horror needs to be about. A lot more than just endless jump scares, because those get really tired after a while. But if you have atmosphere, that's really hard to recreate. But it's 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 so worth it. Like all the best horror games have that atmosphere to them. So this was it, extremely good for a free game, especially. Um, nice short story, disturbing as shit, and uh, logically questionable in more than one way. But I enjoyed it. So yeah, good job, devs. Keep doing what you're doing. I might check out Dusk eventually when it comes out, but I, I don't know yet. We'll see. Have a great night, guys. I'll catch you on the next video.